And then next is 21. Okay? Next, doon naman tayo sa vertical measurement. Okay? Starting with grid 1 with respect to the datum. That is 0. Next is 4. Next is 9. Next is 14. Next is 18. And then 22. Okay? Okay, next. We get the moment. Okay? We have moment KX. And then moment KY. Okay? Again, by the steward. Parang tinaran nyo lang yung ginawa ko last time. So, that one is equal to... Wala. Sorry. That one is equal to your force or your number of columns times the distance with respect to the data. Then, drag that down. Take the sum. <coughs> Next, ito naman tayo sa mga. That is equal to the distance times the number of columns. Take the sum. I drag that down and then take the sum. Yeah. Any questions so far? Ah, very good. Okay, next we get our center of gravity or center of rigidity rather. So your summation of x times the distance that is basically based from you have what I consider the moment of the resultant. Moment of the resultant is equal to the summation of moment of the component. That is basically R F times R, okay, or F times X minus time, X minus number one. Okay, starting with north south. North south, that is Y measurement. So we are looking for bar Y. So resultant, okay, times bar Y is equal to summation of F times Y. Ama? So calculating for bar Y, that is summation of F times Y over FR, where FR is basically the total K. Okay? Tapos, ito naman is the sum of the moment. Nakuha natin doon. Okay? So, by principle, we can calculate for, or we can locate uh, our, dito lang natin gawin. We can locate our center of rigidity. Okay? Center of rigidity, not center of gravity. Now, at center of gravity, we are dealing with the geometry of the footprint of the building. If rigidity, we are dealing with the structural members. Okay? So, starting with bar X. Gila natin dito. X equals. X equals tapos Y equals. Center of rigidity. CRX, CRY. Mamaya na pa naman natin yung pagpapagaman, pero solve na lang din natin. That is equal to, okay, summation, X mo na tayo, summation divided by the total number of volumes. Okay? And then equals summation divided by the number of volumes. Okay, so therefore, if you are to measure with respect to the tattoo, why measurement na tayo? That is 11.82. 11.82 is somewhere here. Somewhere here. Uh, 9 yan, ano? 9, tapos 10, 11, 11, 10. Kaya lang, kulayan natin, parang saya. Okay. Ano ito? Red. <laughs> X is your ating, that is your Y. Okay? Bar Y. Okay? Next naman is yung ating bar X. Ating bar X. Kita ka or yan. Okay? So, si bar X naman is 8 point something, 8 point 5. This is 4 plus 4, 8 plus 0.5. So, we're there. Yeah, and dito naman si bar x. 
Tapos, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the center of gravity. Okay? Next, yung center of gravity, dito natin solve. Okay? So, since, uh, tag dito, since nasa blackboard naman, alam ko ba i-excel? Pwede naman, pero uh, mas maganda kung dito natin solve. Okay? So, for the center of gravity, if we were to draw, this one. How much is this one again? 22. Tama? Tapos you have here 21. Okay? So, if we were to draw the footprint of the building, this one is 22. Tama? Sir, 20. sir balik ko. 21, sir. 21. 21. Okay. Tama lang. And then, this one naman is? I. No. That one is? 14. 5, 10, 14. Tapos? Nine. Huh? Thirteen. 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 Tapos, yung natin natin dito? Nine. Nine. Yan. So, natin yung dalawa. Okay? Ito, bahala ka. Pwede na lang. Pero ganito na lang. Since tanggalin natin yung dimension natin. Oops. Pinawin natin yung ating drawing. Yan is, how much? 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 14. Okay? So, ito yung ating geometry ng building. Yan. Tapos, sa ating ito siya, since it is a unregular shape geometry. Okay? So, we have this one and we have this one. Okay? Area total is equal to area 1 plus area 2. So that one is 21 by 13 plus we have 9 by 14. Area total is equal to Madam Speaker?
or you simply subtract ang kukulit yung D as per definition okay. yung D naman natin as per definition para sa transfer formula lang kung ano yung center of rigidity ang next natin kukulit is yung, yung D natin per lolly pack naman or per grade so ito yung D ng 1 ito naman yung D ng 2 ito naman yung D ng 3 tapos ito yung D ng 4 ito yung D ng 5 and then take B ng 6. Yeah. Then on the other direction, you would have B ng A, B ng B, B ng C, B ng D, and B ng E. Right? I hope naiintindihan pa. Okay, so naiintindihan nyo pa yan. Kunyari naiintindihan. Paano natin kunin yung B? Right? You have distance y, right? Minus, kung i-retreat natin yung ating center of rigidity as the new origin, right? Bagong origin, so yan yung ating zero. Pagkat ito yung light. Ano ba ba po light? Okay. Of that one, okay. so simply 
that would be distance x or y minus your word y. Okay? Or word y na center of the gene. So, para madali na lang ang usapan, may nahihirap na yung gene, that is equal to, okay, your center of rigidity y. Kung y ito, y lang din yan. Okay? Center of rigidity, or sorry, y pala, minus yung y ng center of rigidity. Okay? Ngayon, nalagyan natin ito ng dollar sign. Bakit? Para hindi siya gumalaw. Kasi, itadrag natin siya pa ba. Okay? So, bago ko ito bitawan, expect natin na may sagot na negative, may sagot na positive. Okay? Yan. So, if you try to take the total of this last and this first, okay? This is regarding their sign. Take the sum, dapat, that is, yan, 22 meters. Okay? Yan. Okay, dito naman, that would be equal to, okay? Yung x naman natin yan, minus yung x din natin dito sa CR. Then again, insert a dollar sign doon sa ating in between letters and numbers, dollar sign, the end, dollar sign. Okay? Para hindi siya bumalaw vertically. And then, you simply drag that down. Again, expect a positive and a negative. Okay? Next is, tuloy naman natin, is d squared. So, square natin si d. Square mo lang. This one raised to the second power. Okay? And then, simply drag that down.
Okay, yung weight natin, lagay lang natin yun. That is equal to, nandito naman pala sa kanina. This one. Tapos third floor, weight ng third floor. And then weight ng second floor. Next is the height with respect to the ground. Okay, mauna si second floor. Second floor, ang height niya is 4 meters. Okay? Si third floor naman, ang height niya with respect to the ground is equal to 4 meters plus 4 meters. Last is si roof deck. Ang um, height niya with respect to the ground is equal to 4 meters plus 4 meters plus 3 meters. And then, Okay? Next is the moment with respect to the ground. Another moment that is simply W H. Okay? So the weight multiplied it by H. Then simply drag that down. And take the sum. Open parenthesis. Close parenthesis. Enter. Next is Wala na akong WH divided by the summation. Insert natin yung symbol. Ito siya. Ayun. Close. Summation of WH. So, ibig sabihin niyan, that is equal to WH. I-divide mo siya sa total. Okay? Ngayon, insert ulit natin yung dollar sign para hindi siya gumalaw. Enter. Then, simply drag that down. Okay? Next is your shear force. Okay? Per story. Okay? That is equal to the V shear. Story shear. Story shear. That is equal to this one, multiply that by your base shear. Okay? Ngayon, since it's a drag down, ulit natin siya, insert ulit tayo ng dollar sign dun sa between letters and numbers. Okay? So, papansin nyo, yung amount ng story shear, okay, amount of lateral force being exerted per floor, okay, is not equal. Pinakamagaba sa baba, pinakamataas sa taas. Okay? Yan. Pero, dahil we are analyzing the structure as a whole, then we are trying to have a cumulative um, amount of shear force. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang ibig sabihin nitong nasolve natin dito is the amount of force na tumutulak dito. Kung yan lang yung gagawin mong free bar diagram. Okay? Is simply that 1,000 something something. Okay? Kung hihiwalay mo din si third story, yung force na mag-a-apply sa kanya is 974. Pero hindi ganun eh. Kapag in-analyze mo si ito, itong buong ito ang ah, magiging free bad diagram mo. Ibig sabihin, yung shear force na i-apply kay Rook Deck, may a-apply din ito. Okay? So ibig sabihin, kung, kung susumahin, yung mga poste natin dito sa stage na ito or sa level na ito, okay? Kasama sa, kasama sa rene resist niya is yung mga shear force na nanggaling sa taas. Okay? Pero, yung mga poste natin sa baba or sa susunod na palapag, hindi niya kailangan i-resist yung shear force na nanggaling sa baba. Okay? So, pinaka nahihirapan is yung poste sa pinakawa. Kaya pansin ninyo sa mga design ng mga poste, lalo din sa mga buildings without shear wall, yung poste sa baba lagi ang pinakamalaki. Other than pinakamabigat yung kanyang binubuhat, sana siya rin yung pinakamabigat na shear force. So, we need to reflect that pinakamabigat na shear force dun sa ating calculation. So, that is your story shear, and then last is your vertical shear distribution. Okay? So, cumulative lang yan. That is, sa una is equal to that one. So, susunod is that one plus the previous. And then last is that one plus the previous. Okay? So, yung ending, ang pinakamalaking renaris is SC nasa pinakababa. Okay. Next, kailangan natin i-distribute ngayon si vertical shear sa mga frame system. Okay? 
starting with the numerical. Okay? So, sa numerical, meron tayo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, we have alphabetical. At saka namin na nga na yung location. Sa doon maraming sinusulat. Okay, alphabetical naman, we have A, B, C, D, E. Okay? A, B, C, D, E. Tapos, ipilo lang ulit natin siya. Ito na yun? Ay, bakit ka? Dapat ito ka. Sorry. Dapat. And then, nilalagay natin dito ang yes, this one. Okay? Para connected siya, equals ko na lang yan. Tapos, drag that down. Then, equals this one. Then, drag that down. Muna tayo kay 1. Okay? So, si 1. si 1. That one is equal to this one. Okay? Multiply that by yung katabi niya. Okay? Ngayon, if you freeze natin naman si blue. Okay? Kasi yun yung factor para makukuha yung horizontal force na may apply sa frame number 1. Okay? And then, simply drag that down. Okay? Next, 2 equals si 2. Multiply that by that one. Then, freeze mo lang ulit. Next is si 3. Times. Then, freeze mo lang ulit. Okay? Kung symmetrical yung ating 
Pwede natin i-edit dito, tapos ibalik na lang natin mamaya. Kung symmetrical siya, kunyari, symmetrical.